Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Feel Better Eating. This is a whole food plant-based experience that has the intention of educating you about the health benefits of eating a plant-based diet, inspiring you to try new foods and having a good old time. My name is Joshua, this is my wonderful wife and co-host Catherine. And today as always we have an absolute banger of a recipe. <laughs> it's gonna be high in protein, high in good fats, it's gonna be satiating and most importantly, tasty. Mm. And it also builds on a key theme of this show that is eating healthy desserts, sweet treats doesn't have to be something that has negative health impacts. In fact, if you choose the right ingredients and the right preparation methodology, they can be superfoods. So even though this is gonna be a sweet treat, it's gonna be real good for us and help us feel better eating. Catherine, welcome to the show. Thank you, Joshua. So today, as he implied, we're making a sweet treat. It's gonna be layering of chocolate mousse, cashew cream, and strawberries to make what we call a parfait. So parfait, once I hear it, I'm like, hmm, I'm immediately interested in the history and what it all means. So we're gonna get into that later in the show. Are you guys familiar with parfaits? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, yeah, they're very common at restaurants. <laughs> and we'll get into the different types of parfaits as well in the show. But today, uh, as Joshua implied, this recipe for the parfait is high in fat, it's high in protein, it's high in enzymes, and it's just gonna be super delicious. So I'm excited to share it with you. Right, let's get into it. We're gonna yeah. start off with the avocado chocolate mousse. Yes. And we're gonna start off with avocados. Shocker. And why are we including avocados, Catherine? Avocados, I was introduced to this avocado pudding not like almost, not even a year ago. Our friend made it for us, the predecessor of the show, Dr. Karen Edwards. And I was just shocked at how delicious avocados could be in chocolatey form to the point where you don't even know you're eating an avocado. So we're using that as the fat creamy base and we're gonna show you how you can transform an avocado which is usually associated with savory dishes into a sweet treat. And something that's very interesting about plant-based cooking is a, I guess, phenomena, idea. I'm not really sure how you categorize it, but it's called the doctrine of signatures where these foods, the plants, if they represent a part of our body or specifically part of the body, it usually indicates what it's good for. Mm -hmm. So if we open up this avocado, what does this look like to anybody? What does this, if you can imagine as a representation of our body, what does this look like? With this. Oh, a seed. A seed, yeah. And yeah. what's this human equivalent of a seed? Women carry seeds, Roberts and Babies. Seed. Oh, yes. yes, pregnancy. And really interesting. Female health. Really interesting about avocados. They take, on average, nine months to go from blossom to fruit, just like a human baby. That's the average, obviously, just like humans. It's within a window, and these. Avocados are very high in folate, mm -hmm. which is an essential nutrient for pregnant women. So it's pretty cool to see the crossover there. And you'll find this in lots of different foods. So if you keep, keep your eye open, it's a really easy way to remember the health benefits of specific foods if it looks like mm -hmm. a part of the body. Pretty but if cool. you're not trying to grow a baby or a woman with reproductive health, it's also good for good source of fiber. And like we said, anyone can benefit from folate and it it helps your brain health as well. Yeah. So digestion, brain, all good things. All good things. It looks like a brain, the the shell of it. And we talked about bit. before how you can save all your avocado seeds and make avocado seed art. What was the name of that woman again? Shout out to that woman. Yeah. I, I did look her up. We're using six this. avocados here. Yeah. I'm just gonna be scooping these out. Make sure we get out. a lot going. You're doing great. Do you want to uh, start talking about the next thing while I finish this up? Sure, so I think the next on the list is our trusty old dates, Majulis, Majul dates. They are rich in iron and natural sugar to a way that it won't peak your insulin levels mm -hmm. in an unsatisfactory way. And they also help with digestion and they're just, they taste like candy. They're so good. Yeah. And so they're a great way to add sweetness into recipes, but also structure. So it would be a nice goo that will combine the fat from our avocados into 
a moussey mixture. Yeah. So we'll put one cup of dates in. These ones are already pitted, so the seed is taken out of them. And some people have told me that you can make like a beverage out of the seeds of yeah, dates. Yeah, allegedly. Though. Allegedly. And we I tried. just Maybe I tried so many ways. Up. Yeah, plastic everywhere. It was just an explosion. And then, so I don't know. If you're feeling brave, you can go for it. But I don't know how they made that work. YouTube does that to me sometimes. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, get rid of this. Got a bit messy over here, didn't I? I did. Avocados, I'm just gonna wash my hands. Do you wanna put them in the uh... in the blender? <laughs> yeah. So we're working with an absurd amount of avocados here, but if you're making this at home, well, I don't know, depending on who you're making it for. Yeah, and how many people this recipe is scaled for our live audience here? It could. It's a good treat for to make for parties, I think. I mean, most of our recipes are because they're good for sharing. They are good for sharing. Large quantities. Right. Right. So that sturdiness needs yeah, to be. Yeah, you can put that away. You can put that away. Next up we've got cacao powder. We're probably going to need another one. This no, is I put all of it in Oh, there. you put it all in that one. So what's this one here for? To juggle. We, I didn't know what to do with that, I panicked. We're adding cacao here for flavour. Obviously this is a chocolate mousse. That's where the flavour is going to come from. And this is going to turn the avocados from these green to brown. Mm -hmm. So it will look like chocolate mousse. It's going to disguise it. You won't even know. But interesting about cacao, if you've ever eaten this and felt good after it, or felt like you've got more energy, it has something in it called theobromine, which is not too dissimilar from caffeine, it's definitely not the same, but it is a molecule that gives us energy. But unlike caffeine, it's a lot more stable. So after eating this, if you feel like you've got more energy, it's gonna come from other parts of this, like the coconut and the avocados, but the theobromine will do that. So that's why a lot of people drink cacao beverages as a replacement for coffee, which mm. is pretty cool. And it's a healthy fat as well, so. And we're gonna go for three tablespoons of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna round up to a quarter of a cup because now I'm seeing the amount of avocados in there. I'm just gonna <laughs> play it safe. And three tablespoons is practically just over, it's almost a fourth of a cup. Really, is that true? I'd love to see the maths on that. I trust you. You wanna go try? For it. Nah, go for okay. it, I trust you. <laughs> Usually you don't do the ratios like that. You go, I don't know. If we need good. to add more, we'll add well more, because we need to make sure that it's a brown chocolate yeah. color. We don't want avocado taste for Kim in the back, yeah, or else there'll be a pro. This, uh, you can also use melted chocolate here. I've used, I've made this recipe with melted chocolate before, and it's really good as well. We're going to add vanilla extract into it next. This is for taste, and it also has an antidepressant effect. It's really good for your mood. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, about vanilla, <laughs> we can add extra. The agricultural process for vanilla is very labor intensive that's why it's so expensive per pod and it's because they have to hand pollinate every plant Can because the bees that are naturally good at doing vanilla aren't always on location where the vanilla is grown so they go around with a toothpick with pollen and they pollinate every single flower to make it produce the pod which is insane but that's why it's so expensive that is insane can you imagine doing that I mean, I guess that's beautiful, because you are the giver of life at that point. I think after like 15 plants, I'd be done with that. Mm. I'd be moving on. It's How for the meticulous in nature. Two tablespoons. Two so tablespoons? Teaspoons. 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 That would have like, been... Geez. We'd all be buzzing after that. I was like, holy moly, hon. That's, <laughs> it's concentrated. It's a, it's a delicacy. We have to be delicate. With it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be adding coconut oil yep. as well. Uh, my personal favorite is the unrefined coconut oils, but right now we have just this refined one, which will work fine. The oil, oh, do you want to say something? No, no, I was uh, just kind of like pointing at it for effect. Coconut oil. So the refined process is for people that don't like the taste and the aroma of coconut. So they just like somehow strip that out of it. Another step, yeah. refining it, so I don't know. but. Going on the fats that's in here, this is gonna help make it a creamy mixture. And when you use the unrefined coconut oil, and when you put it in the fridge to set, if you wanna keep it in the fridge to set, it'll help like it harden and yeah. turn into a different consistency. Also go for brain health. Shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, I thought that was the camera. Oh, I was uh, like, <laughs> We're gonna put two tablespoons in there Someone's or Someone's upset. This will help with brain health too, so you'll feel good after this and probably alert. That with the Theo I think it only needs two. All right. I like the intuition you're showing here. Kate's big on intuition when she's cooking and looking. Sometimes when you look at recipes and you're like, that just doesn't seem right. Just doesn't right. feel right, does it? Just follow your intuition. 
Next up to add. Well, you forgot the Midwest Golden. Can't, can't forget that. Nectar. So we add maple syrup as well for the sweetness because it does an extra job of masking that avocado taste, in my opinion, yeah. and it adds just a bit more sweetness that sends it. And who the doesn't edge. like maple syrup? So really. how much did I say here? We've got three, three tablespoons. Oh. Three of them. And obviously, if you like it sweeter, I guess you could add more. And you know what's fascinating about maple syrup? I don't know if anyone's ever read the back of the bottle of pure maple syrup, but the Toilet box reading. only says two tablespoons. I've heard that you can eat a fourth of a cup in the day. Well, I don't in my life. I know, that's what I was saying, but I was hoping it was going to say a fourth of a cup. Because Labels I'm won't sure control me. Says. No, they don't. Do and we're going for it. Man, uh oh. Intuition. We're okay. going to be adding a plant based milk of choice. This is almond milk, but you can use oat, cashew, all the trillion different ones. Coconut. Coconut. If you like more coconut. And this is going to help with the texture consistency. Yeah, so we're just, Ooh. it says three plus on the recipe because we're going to add three and then see if we need to add more based on how moussey it turns out. Yeah. It's probably going to need more now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. We'll see in a minute. But you can't go back, can you? No. You can't take it out. It's like woodwork. But it's definitely going to be an interesting blend. Okay. So let's watch the, as the Blend avocados turn brown. We're gonna need a rubber spatula as well, but. All right. I didn't get the, uh... Excuse us for a short blending break. Oh, you didn't get the thingy. Mm -hmm. So we're going for a mousse consistency. If you haven't seen a mousse consistency before, it's neither thick nor thin. It's like right in between. It's mousse. Yeah. It looks pretty, you can see the consistency though, it is moussey. All right, well don't lick things until... I'm not right. gonna lick it. <laughs> you do, you lick yeah, things. Only at the end. <gasps> How is it? It is sweet. It's a mousse. It still tastes a little bit like avocado though. So we can't have that for Kim, she'll freak out. More syrup. Yeah, I think it needs more maple syrup. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll you try it. it. No, I trust you. I have a limited feedback loop, I like most things. Which usually tastes good to me. He's like, good. You don't even question it most of the time. Definitely more maple syrup in there. Told you. Probably a bit more cocoa as well. See, she knows. Intuition. Dun da da da. Get it in. I quite like that with the avocado taste in there. It's pretty nice, actually. I think it adds like a, a different appeal, definitely. I mean, you can try this for yourselves and see which which way you like it. Just kind of well, shake it in. Because like you don't like avocados. Right. All right, get that in there. And then we'll, I mean, do we even need to like blend it or can we just stir it? Definitely blend it, it'll take All a second. Right. We're here now, aren't we? We're invested now in the blend. We need to put it in a bowl now. We'll just scoop it out. Hope for the best. So you can see the consistency if I do it with this. You can see that it's like a mousse. It's like... Mm, it's actually thick, boy, though. All right. Do you want it to be thinner? Or you no, no, that's that? good. I said you want to... Oh. Move this, tidy up just as we go. Yeah. Clean up one mess before you make another. Oh, who taught you that? Somebody. I taught him that. Right. Okay, I'll scoop that. Scoop that in that. So do you want to talk about parfaits while I scoop it in? Sure, does anybody know where the word parfait comes from? Any guesses? Does it sound what language it sounds in? French. It is French. Nice. Do you know what it translates to in English? Queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the alternative New Age translation. It is perfect. That's what it means in English. You're pretty close to the tra pretty close to the translation. Anybody know when it started? Parfaits? No. It's interesting because the history of parfait is similar to the history of a lot of desserts that we eat now, especially the French sounding desserts. Essentially, for a long time it was for royalty only because of the rarity of the sugar involved and traditionally this was made with eggs, sugar, honey, very similar to the nougat. Do you remember when we made that? Two very similar recipes. But then in the late 1800s it just became more accessible for everybody to start eating this. And then parfait became what we know it. As the world started to get smaller it spread. And as it got to America the same theme that often happens on this cooking show. Americans had their way with it and turn it into, the French parfait is a single layer just like this with fruit on the top 
and then as it came to America, it became the layered one. You know, you've seen in glass jars. And typically, in the American fashion, those layers become very built up with ingredients that aren't necessarily good for your health. Mm. A lot of liquor is used in parfaits, a lot of processed sugar, and that's why when you usually eat one of these, you don't feel good. But this is going to be it. Well, at least temporarily. Temporarily. You don't feel good. You might feel good when you're eating it, but not so much afterwards. Wow, this is so much. I proportionally made way more avocado mousse. Yeah. So if you're making this at home, it will last as well in the fridge, so you don't have to use six avocados. But are you going to smooth that out? Uh, what do you mean? It doesn't need to. It's just smacked in there. <laughs> All right, we're just going to be distributing it into yep. the... I just don't want to waste that much. I just feel like that's a waste if I can't get it out. I'm like a very particular about how much <laughs> I get out of the blender, but we're gonna have to clean it to do the cashew cream. Yeah. Do you want me to stop cleaning it? I guess let's just sacrifice it. I wish we could just pass it around and everyone just take a lick. So, what do you that's want? a lot of cashews. Yeah, we won't need all of those. Okay. So we're making the cashew cream cheese now, as Kate said. And these are pre-soaked cashews, so we ask them kindly to put them to soak a, a day beforehand or at least eight hours beforehand. And you see how big they are. So when they're in the packaging, they're not as enlarged, but now that they've soaked up water, they're bigger. And what's gonna happen now that they're soaked? What's the benefit of doing that? They're gonna create a creamier texture when you blend it. Yeah, and it also reduces phytic acid, which is the negative part of eating cashews. But these are really healthy for you. They've got a lot of amino acids in. A lot of good fats and they're very satiating as well, so they're going to make you feel full. I'm going to do two cups of that, so there's definitely going to be leftovers in the cashew streaks. Maybe just add a little bit more in. It looks so small once you add it to the blender. Okay, we're just going to go for it. Whatever. Really? Well, we have so much avocado. Well, we're in, we're in now, aren't we? <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. They're all soaked, so they just got to get them in. Did we run out of spoons already? I already like like the this raw one. cashews to soak them. Yeah, buy the raw ones and then soak them. How did we like all of our spoons already? I've got that other Rebel special out. Can you grab that, please? It's right next to you. Thank you, darling. Oh. All right. So to accompany cashews in this will be... Dates. So that's what I love about this recipe is you don't have to think about each layer too much. It's like... Same thing repeated. So you have your base thing, which was your avocado in the last one. Now you've got cashews, which is your base layer here. And from a stock in your kitchen point of view, if you look at this recipe two weeks ago, a lot of these recipes are all using very similar ingredients with just slight variations. So when you're buying them, you can buy them in bulk, never sulk, no. save money, and then they can make various different recipes from the same recipes. Pitted? I would get a different pack. They look good. They look fine. Are they pitted? They just don't go bad. I don't think they do. I <laughs> need to see some receipts on that. It's fine. They're right, good. what's that one cup we're putting in there? Yeah, about. And then what works better with vanilla in the chocolate mousse? Is even more vanilla because like I said, I couldn't taste it. So we're gonna have to just <laughs> keep it in now. I mean, the two tablespoon thing may not have been off. We've got that in there and then uh, we're gonna add more plant milk. Yeah, I think we're gonna need uh, more than three tablespoons. What, like four? Oh god, just just go until there's at least a little layer of the Okay. Alright. Give so that a blender. That's gonna be thick. Thick daddy. Alright, so you guys are gonna have to bear with us. More blending. <laughs> We're back. We're back. <laughs> Get the black thing. The thing that the moment that everyone loves. Yeah. Here we go. So you can see the consistency here, it's thick. Yeah. And if you did this, if you didn't soak the cashews, it just wouldn't come out as thick or creamy. It would be more bitty. I mean, this may be a bitty a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Because the... Good. Something that I forgot to do is you can also soak your dates ahead of time and that was, it will make your dates softer and they will blend easier. We think that's why the Vitamix didn't go as well the it first be time like because it. we put the dates at the bottom. So maybe just right away it got clogged with the dates. We have an absurd amount of... Well, there's lots of people there. Yeah. As long as you enjoy it. Then you guys get seconds. Maybe even thirds, really. Yeah. At this stage of the game. I know, because there's only no, like a little bit of Minimum, like, an hour, really, but yeah. four hours. Yeah, it makes hours. a big difference, yeah, soaking dates. And we never request that. We must forget that aspect, I'm not sure. I know, because I requested to soak the cashews this time and not the dates. 
So as you can see, most of this recipe, it's very straightforward. It's just sorting out the blender, cleaning it, putting it back in the blender. That looks great though. Yeah. It's making me sweat, scooping all this out. It's quite the workout. Oof. So you watch, you're gonna bang the strawberry it's straight. It's like a heavy it? carafe. That's what it's called, isn't it? A carafe? It is a carafe. Not a giraffe. You can use fresh strawberries into slices as Joshua insinuated, but... You can use we, any fruit you want here as well. Yeah, definitely. Blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, gooseberries, all them berries. This should just blend like a cinch. Yeah, if this doesn't go well, we've got issues. It's not, it's the blender. Yeah. I brought a large clear jar so we can see each layer going in. Cho then... Chocolate first, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be chocolate first. Ooh. I'm just nervous to get it on the sides because I want it to be... Oh, there it goes, on the side. I think we need, <laughs> I think we need strawberries to top it as well. All right. Oh, you had strawberries out the whole time. The whole time, honey. There's still more defrosted ones. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, uh, cream. And then, can you get, I'm sorry, honey, can you get one more big spoon for the strawberry? Well, I guess I can pour it at this point. It's just. Just pour it, yeah. Probably want to do more than that. Do. What? Alright. You're layering it, honey. Oh, you what, layer it up as you go? Yeah. Hmm. So I'm just afraid now the strawberry is just going to get completely smashed by the chocolate. It's a learning, it's a learning idea. What, is it going to get just completely smashed? I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? Oh. Oh. We've got displacement happening. Just build on top. It's a leaky foundation, but we're going to get there. Yeah, and now you can, you just It needs a little to. bit more chocolate, just on the sides there. And then we'll top it with cashew. Go on. And then... You can't even see it. No, that's, that's not crazy. It's like the, French, the French. The How French. are they doing this? They're just using okay. thicker strawberries, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. No one's sending that back, though. You sure? I would send it back. I was like, this does not look like a parfait. I, I would ask for another one. And I would I'd refuse like, to give it back because I know once you give it back, they have to I don't know how they make parfaits look so clean, but that looks like a mess in a jar. But we tried our best. And then you can feel free to garnish it with whatever you want, like cocoa nibs. I'm going to throw some cocoa nibs on top of it for a bit of a crunch. Nice. You could do coconut shreds. You could do... Dates. <laughs> Pistachios. Cashews. Celery. See, the top looks the best. Oh, look at that. Should I just, what's the best looking looks angle? Good. What's the I best think it looks angle? Good. You can tell. That angle. This is the best angle. Go around there. Well, no, I think Kevin can see it from there. Can you see it, Kevin? Does it look bright? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I mean, it just is what it I is. I think that looks great on you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Okay. Good. All I, right. If I drank that with a coffee, I'd be I mean, that look, look how much of a summer treat that looks like, too. So that's very springy, very summery. If you had a barbecue and that was served for dessert, I would eat it. guests would be they would ecstatic. be ecstatic they tell all their friends you're right honey you're, you're so right well there we go <laughs> that is a plant-based parfait this is going to be really satiating very tasty if somebody could eat the whole one of those i'd be very impressed that's a serious dish there's a lot of calories in yeah, there yeah it's gonna but be it's packed calorie. with so much goodness it's going to make your heart your head your brain your stomach mm. all parts of you feel great mm. we're excited to share it with the crowd here Thank you all for being here with the patience of the Blender Escapades, volume 17. <laughs> we love that, don't we? Well, this is our 20th episode. So, so thank you everyone years. that's been here for all. Thank you to Kim your support. for helping you, us Kim, throughout this yes. journey. Good luck with your new venture. Yeah. And thank you to everybody watching. This recipe is available on our website, feelbetterliving.com. We hope it inspires you to go try it. If you're in the Michigan area for the next two weeks, we've got enough to <laughs> share out. So come on down to the Grace Learning Centre and try it. Well, we appreciate you all being here. Thank you very much. Thank you for helping me present. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Peace. Thank you to all of our show sponsors and supporters who make this show possible. The Healthcare Foundation of Laporte, Grace Learning Centre, Citizens Concerned for the Homeless, and ALCO, Access Laporte County. We appreciate all of your support.